Hello, my name is Mr Stable. I'm one of the brass teachers at Bromley Youth Music Trust. I'm going to show you today how to clean a French horn. Cleaning something we all love, I'm sure. Um, but maybe some of us don't do it quite often enough. Um, I've rigged up a little bath here. This has got lukewarm water in and nothing too hot because anything too hot is going to take your lacquer off your instrument and nothing too cold because it's not going to cut through any of the grease. I've set up a few different things, some slide greases, some oils, some cloths, and I'll take you through how I'm going to clean the horn. So firstly, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to take all my bits off the horn. If you don't, haven't done this before, do it for the first time, I very much recommend, particularly if you're playing a double horn, take a photo of where your slides are. Because some of these slides, once they're in a big bucket of water, all start looking exactly the same. So I'm going to take out my mouthpiece, All my slides are going in the water and then my valve caps. So make sure you take all of them off. It's very important we get them clean. So basically the bits we're taking off are the moving parts where you're going to have your oils and your residue of old oil and old grease. Okay, just like that. If I was in my bathroom at home in a bath, I would now submerge my horn in the bath. As well as there being um, warm water, I'm just going to use some fairy liquid. Other detergents are available. But fairy clean and fresh. There we go. Only the best here at BYMT. You get some detergent in there, that's just going to cut through a little bit of the grease. So if I was at home, I would now put my horn in the bath, give it a little rinse, make sure I wiggle the valves, make sure I get water all the way through that horn. Now, one of the most important things I'm going to do next is get this thing here. This is called a pull through or a snake. Um, and we're going to push it through the lead pipe, which is this section here, the very first section of the French horn. Now this horn has just been picked out of the cupboards. It has been played quite recently. So depending on people's eating habits, where they like to have their dinner just before playing. And maybe bits of sandwich down here. I'm just going to do it a bit carefully, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Oh, that one. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's pretty. That is pretty clean. There's not too much gunk on that. Um, when I do my horn, which I try and do about once a month, as I'm a professional horn player, I play every day. Sometimes six, nine hours. I get some fairly horrendous things coming out of this tube. But there we go. Such is life. Yeah, so not too bad. So you can see a little bit of gunk in my tub there. Then I'm going to take all these slides and get my snake. And if, then if you can see, there's some, quite a lot of gloopy stuff around here. That is old valve, um, valve slide grease. It's really, really important we get that off by putting our snake down, giving it a wiggle and washing it out because if we don't gather off, that's the sort of thing that will get inside a valve. And when your valve stops working and you think, oh, for no reason I've looked after it really well, it's not because you've let old slide grease get into the valve mechanism. And then I'm afraid it's a trip to the repairers so and not much we can do about it after that. So I'm going to take out the uh, first valve slide. I'm just going to take out one for the moment just to show you um, how to oil it. Uh, mouthpiece. Again, just give it a clean with, uh, I've got this thing here. A mouthpiece brush, hopefully most of you got one of those. Both ends, hopefully. Should be able to see a nice clear hold down that. I'm also gonna take out a, a valve cap just here, make sure I give it a clean. Again, we don't want any residue from old valve oil lying around that. Um, so if I was at home now, I'd probably get a shower attachment, um, hose down my horn, clean out all the, um, the slides, get rid of the detergent. We don't want that sitting around in the horn with one that all that washed out. I spin my horn a few times to make sure all the water's out. If this had been submerged in a bath, you may have to do that, I don't know, nine or 10 times or something like that. 
So, here we have our horn ready for reassembly. First thing I do is give it a little dry down. I'm just gonna show you how to oil a horn. Best time to oil is after it's been cleaned. I clean my horn once every month, once every two or three is probably fine for a student. Um, oil the valves when they need to. Generally every one or two weeks I find this okay. Um, uh, grease your slides when you need to. Again, when they start getting sticky, rusty, don't start moving. It's not what you want in the middle of a concert. So make sure they keep, they're moving um, and kept moving all the time. So, French horn oil. I have two different oils here. I have a thin one, anything you might use on a trumpet um, or any, any piston valve instrument. I've got blue juice here. Um, Paxman do a whole range of oils. Um, quite useful document here, the Paxman Care and Maintenance of the Horn. Um, you can get that online from Paxman, I'm sure they'll send them one to you. If you want um, some extra information. Um, I also use Hetman oils. Now this one is a bearing and linkage oil. Do not use this, and I see this done a lot, particularly uh, trumpet players who try and clean horns. Do not use this on the rotors. We need a thicker oil. Um, I'm using Hetman 14, um, Hetman 13.5, Hetman 13, all fine. Uh, Paxman um, bearing oil again, great. So I'm going to get some of this Hetman oil. I'm going to put it in a couple of different places. First of all, I'm going to put it on this spindle here, right in the middle of the valve cap. And this is the sort of thing you can check every week, every couple of weeks, just have a look under that valve cap. If it's dry, drop of oil. Not too much. And then a little bit just here. And then, I don't know if you can see, just in the valve here, one of these valves need a bit more of a deeper clean, but uh, just a little drop in there maybe just in a couple of the little joints. If your valves have big gaps and a bit rattly, you probably need the linkage oil, which is an even heavier oil. I'm just gonna do the chef thing, just clean my workstation. There we go, nice tidy station. So, I've used that oil. I'm now gonna take a couple of drops. Now, if you play your horn a lot, if you've got a higher end horn, you may not even need any light oil going down into these tubes. If you don't play so much, it's good to have a little bit of lubrication going down there. Um, little tip, if you're going on holiday, if it's summer and you're not gonna play the horn for a few weeks, oil your instrument before you go away. It's much, much easier than doing it once you get back. So, your two oils are in, your valve cap's back on. I'm now gonna take the slide, which I'm just gonna dry it off. Little, Slide grease, any slide grease is fine. Just a teeny bit on the end of both bits. And that um, the grease will then run up the whole of that uh, collar. So, best thing to do is push down the correct valve, whichever one goes through here. So, this is my first valve, I'm gonna press that down. This instrument sits in B flat, I think. So hopefully, if I press that down as well, that's the correct combination to not get a popping sound. If you're forcing air into the instrument, particularly, and if you're pulling out, getting a pop, can do a lot of damage to the valves. So once that's nicely working, we're gonna push that in. There we go, and it's nicely lubricated. And there we go, ready to play. Now what you have to do is exactly the same for all the other valve caps, all the other valves. Grease the slides, and away we go. So that is cleaning your horn. Thank you.